Hi guys and welcome to the iGame Over channel. Today I'm going to make a video that well you'll either hate it or love it uh, depending on what's your stance with Apple and Android. So um, here we go. I recently got myself an Android 6S and um, I wanted to test um, how good it actually is at recording video. And I'm not just talking some sort of um, you know weird video or, or, or I don't know some uh, holiday sn snaps or I don't know. I wanted to see if you can actually make a sort of like a film of sorts, right? How good the quality will be, how uh, good post-processing is, and, and so on, right? Probably should mention that I'm not using the standard app uh, for that little experiment of ours. I want to push that hardware and that software all the way to the max, okay? So I'm going to push that uh, phone to the maximum of its actual capability. So for that, I'm using a software that is called Filmic Pro, okay? Uh, I can record there. I have full control, right, over the entire picture. So I can set the ISOs and shutter speeds and so on. I can record in 4K. Most importantly, I can push the iPhone to record at 100 megabits per second, guys. And that should be pretty tasty for post-processing. I want to see what sort of quality we can get. So um, let's walk around. You know, let's let, let's record some stuff in different varying conditions, and um, we'll go from uh, you know nice and light and during the day and during the morning all the way to the night. Okay, and uh, we'll see how it will go. Okay, well, <laughs> let's see. Let's put that baby to the test. Okay, so we moved into a studio and, well, you know, studio, <laughs> studio, it's a big word because, you know, I'm at my home and uh, we're using a cheap light, a cheap green screen, as you can notice probably, I have some, uh, you know, hair clip <laughs> of my uh, soon-to-be wife to hold it, stretch it a little bit, but, you know, as you can see, this is all on a really tight budget, but never mind, let's see if we can do the best of it, isn't it? So um, is the iPhone 6S, or 6S Plus really, because it's the same camera, is it any good in a studio scenario? Like, could you use it as a green screen camera, right? Well, let's see, okay? Okay, on three. Three, two, one. And this is how it looks like, right? Is it good? I think it looks pretty decent. I mean, you know, it's not like the professional camera, but I think for a, you know, for a casual YouTuber, I mean, it looks pretty good, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's believable. I have no problem with it. What do you think? Leave your comments down below, okay? 